Alrighty, so I'm going to talk to you about my lethal shotgun that uh, we do run on occasion. This thing is basically in retirement. It has been in retirement since the incident in 2016 and then it sat in an evidence locker for two years uh, until I got it back and was cleared. So it's a uh, Remington 870 Tactical um, off the shelf, got it at a, got it at a gun store. Um, it's a gun everybody can buy. I did some modifications to it. Uh, I spent a week in shotgun instructor class with this shotgun and really got to know it well. Uh, the 870 is what I used when we were in Border Patrol and what I used when I was with the Sheriff's Office as a deputy uh, in Florida. And I have made some modifications to it. I have the uh, furniture on this is the Magpul furniture. The best thing about this Magpul furniture is this is this this four front grip here this uh action lever grip this thing is badass this thing is awesome i don't use any of the attachment uh things on here but i do like the the large lip on here it makes it easy to purchase so this 870 like the ksg is a 12 gauge and it fits two and three quarter or three inch shells and i run lethal shells in this i'm running the uh Tactical Flight Buckshot by Federal, and I'm running the Federal Slugs Law Enforcement uh, one out slugs. Uh, if you watch the uh, if you watch the Safe Life video where we destroyed the Safe Life vest, this is the shotgun that we used, and these are the those are the rounds that we used. That's all I pushed through this is the Tactical Flight uh, Buckshot that I used uh, when I was uh, officer in the Federal Slugs. That's all it that goes in this gun. Nothing else goes in this gun. Um, I have an aftermarket rail attachment for a flashlight that's currently not there. Um, and then I also have um, the Magpul uh, detach, the Magpul sling. I'm running the uh, MS3 on this. It's a 2.3 point sling that I run on this uh, Magpul just because that's what I've run forever. I do have the uh, aftermarket um, attachment for the Magpul for the, for the sling on the back. Just running a two-point sling. Uh, most of the time, if we are taking this out in the field, it is for lethal purposes. It's not for less lethal. And uh, I know this shotgun uh, better than I know just about everything else in my life. Uh, you know, it's got the ghost ring sights on it. And uh, just absolutely love this shotgun. This shotgun is, uh, is awesome. It serves us really well. And uh, the only thing in the last 10 years that's broke on this was the extractor and uh, my armor uh, Nathan he fixed he fixed the extractor in it and boom we're, we're right back up uh, this gun is awesome has served us well and you know it's a great great lethal option for us and I really highly suggest if you have a lethal shotgun and a less lethal shotgun don't don't mix don't don't have less lethal on the side with lethal in the gun that's a recipe for um, for a lot of attorneys in your life. A shotgun needs to be dedicated lethal or less lethal. You shouldn't be running a lethal shotgun with a less lethal shotgun. There's too much of a recipe for disaster there with, with mixing the shells up under the under stress. Um, you know, having that, if we have our KSG with us, this gun is not with us. This gun is nowhere, you know, it sits in the gun safe at home, out of the reach of everybody. So if we're running a lethal shotgun or if we feel that it's necessary, we're not going to bring our KSG with us. So it's going to be one or the other. It's just a safety protocol that we operate under um, to reduce our liability and the liability to our clients. But yeah, Remington 870, absolutely love this shotgun.